need a need a letter man yeah hey guys um, I'm back today first off I want to apologize on my appearance I know I look a little raggedy disheveled whatever I haven't slept in like days so that should tell you why anyway um I wanted to go ahead and get this video up sorry my like again sorry I look so bleh but um otherwise it's not getting up because I work all day long anyways I wanted to do this review on the Becca Time Champagne Pop I mean, Becca and Jaclyn Hill collaboration, the newest one, which is the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed um, Champagne Glow Palette, and it looks like that. Um, first off, um, I had already reviewed this one over here, which is the original Champagne Pop. It looks like that. Um, it's not that I didn't like it, it's just that it wasn't like my favorite thing in the world, and that was kind of just like my opinion on it. I'll link my review down below. Um, it wasn't like bad, and it wasn't like, oh my gosh, so that was kind of what my opinion was, if you don't really want to watch that. So, like I said, I was really pleasantly surprised with this palette. Um, I honestly kind of just bought it out of like a bad habit, to be perfectly 100% honest, because Lord knows I do not need more highlighters um but this thing was really relatively inexpensive and i am really 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 happy with it so first off i'm going to give you logistics you can buy it on sephora um i'm not sure as of when this video is being filmed whether it's sold out or not but last time i checked it was still in stock and um last time i checked my sephora which was yesterday they still had it so yeah um this is $34, and I'm sure you can find it other places if you cannot find it um, exactly at Sephora, but that's the main retailer that it comes out of. So it's, again, it's $34, and you get 7.2 grams of product, which is a lot different from this palette, which this palette you get 7.4, but it is also $4 more. And then this, you get 8 grams of product, and it is also like $5 more than this palette. And let's start off. Let's open it. It's pretty, it's gold. You open it. Right away, I like the packaging. Sorry if I'm going to blind you, but I'm going to. I'm going to. Anyway, um, it has a really nice big mirror. Sorry if mine's dirty as well, but it is. Um, comparison to this mirror in this palette, I mean, obviously, the mirror was built for the palette, and their palette design is rather cohesive. But um, I prefer this big mirror if I'm going to be using it for my makeup, because I can't really use this one for my actual makeup application. Um, I also really, really prefer the size of the pan in these. Um, if you can see, these pans were so tiny and that was one of my biggest gripes with this palette. It's really beautiful, but uh, uh, and then look at the difference. It's like almost two times the size, the pans. And that was what I was kind of saying. Um, I would rather have the pans be bigger and less product, so they kind of came through on this. Um, this features three highlighters. There's Champagne Pop, Pearl, and um, Blush Copper. They are all actually really beautiful shades, and I am very pleased to announce that I like this Champagne Pop. It's actually different from this one. Um, I don't know if it's just I got a bad one of this one, if they reformulated it, or really what went on, but this one's just different. I still use this one. It's just you know, not something I reach for very often, and I don't know if you'll be able to tell in the swatches, but I'm going to show you. I'll just get this out of the way right away. So this is the original Champagne Pop, and then this is the one in the palette. Um, I don't really know if you can tell, but this one is so much more orange. Um, I said in the video that it was really, really yellow before, but I finally picked up that it was orange and maybe that was like the rose gold in it but this new formulation it's more yellow but it seems to work so much better on my skin also the one in this um this form um mine is kind of like powdery like i don't know like dusty whereas this one is super smooth like the rest of my um becca highlighters let me go ahead and swipe the other two for you right away I have Pearl, which is their new shade. It's going to be permanent. And I also have Blushed Copper. So here are all four shades. Well, um, my old Champagne Pop, my new Champagne Pop, Blushed Copper, and Pearl. Um, I think they're all super beautiful, and every single color in this, at least for my skin tone, is wearable. So I'm really, like, shocked that I'm, like, so in love with this palette, but I really am. Um, I think it was such a good deal for your money. I mean, $34 is not that much money for three highlighters. So if I had to choose and you're thinking about going for either one of these, I would definitely say to go with this one. Stick with this one. Um, I just wanted to 
show you one more swatch and this is of max um oh darling i want to show it to you next to it um the newer version of champagne pop and oh darling are super super similar um the only difference is of course um oh darling has a little bit of gold but if you are looking for oh darling and oh darling is sold out um i think this version of champagne pop should do you pretty right at least personally that's what i've experienced and yeah i can't say enough good things about this palette um I love it and I think it was totally worth my money. It was totally worth the hype and I think she did such an amazing job on this one. So yeah, so if you have also if you have the choice between this or this, I would definitely go with this because I mean you get more choices and it's still a really, really huge amount of the product. I can't go through this in like a year and that's like roughly the time that they expire in. So you know. Yeah. Anyways, um, that's my opinion. I pretty much give it a 5 out of 5. I don't think it was priced unreasonably. I think that the design of the palette was amazing. I think that it's great. It's easy to open, easy to close. It stays closed. Um, the mirror is a great size and all the products in there are wearable for multiple skin tones. You can mix and match and yeah, I'm very pleased. 5 out of 5. Uh, that's about it for this review and I will see you guys in my next video. Please comment, please rate, and please subscribe. I love you guys. Ask me what